Hello, this is Suraj, and today I'm going to answer a question in my experiment for my grade 9 advanced placement science class at Central PL Secondary School. The purpose for this experiment is to prove that plants produce oxygen. This experiment is about demonstrating photosynthesis in a jar. Photosynthesis is when a plant converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Here is a diagram of photosynthesis. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water enter the plant, and the plant breathes out oxygen. This mirrors the famous experiments of Joseph Priestley and John Ingenhuis from the 1700s that first demonstrated the existence of oxygen and its, import and its importance to plants and animals. In this experiment, I'm going to be putting a candle in a jar and covering it with a lid to see how long it takes for the candle to consume all the oxygen in the jar and extinguish when no oxygen is left. Then I'm going to be putting a plant in another jar with a candle to see what effect the plant has on, on how long the candle lasts. Think about it. Humans can last a couple of days without eating and maybe even two days without drinking water. But how long can they last without oxygen? They, let's try it. Pinch your nose with one hand and cover your mouth with the other and let's see how long you can last. See, you couldn't last long, could you? That's how important oxygen is to humans. The materials for this procedure are two candles, which are supposed to be, suppo supposed to be the same size, which are found at your local dollar store, two wide mouth jars, which are also supposed to be the same size, and are also found at your local dollar store, one healthy plant in a pot, uh, which is which should preferably be uh, be a plant that acts as an air filter. The following is a list of plants which are used for air fil air filtration by NASA. If these plants are, are good enough to filter the air of the space station, then they would be a good plant to use for this experiment because they release a lot of oxygen. If you don't have any of these plants, then a normal house plant is just fine. For, for, which is what I'll be using for my experiment. You're also going to need some matches and a timer. For my, for my experiment, I'm going to be using my phone. So the first step is to gather all the materials. The first, uh, so the, you're going to need the two jars, the two candles, the two candles, the matches, and the timer. So after that, you, after gathering all your materials, materials, you're going to place two wide mouth jars, which are the same size, side by side, on a tabletop or flat surface. In one jar, place a regular wax candle. And all, I've done this just for convenience sake. In the other jar, place another candle, but also place your plant as well. Next step is to light the candles. I'm going to be using a separate candle just to light up the other other candles in the jars for convenience. After you're done lighting the candles, then you're going to want to put the lids of the jars at exactly the same time. This is very important to get accurate results. Time how long it's, it's, it takes to extinguish each candle in both of the jars. Which one do you think is going to, going to extinguish first? The, one, the, the can, jar with the plant or the jar without the plant? Let's see, let's take a look.
As you saw, the jar with just the candle extinguished after 1 minute and 14 seconds, and the jar with the plant extinguished after 1 minute and 7 seconds. The candle in the jar without the plant lasted longer. Is this what you guessed? Let's take a look at what happened. The candles in both jars went out in a short time because oxygen is needed for a fire to burn. When the flame is extinguished, it has used it has used all the oxygen in the jar and there is none left. Without oxygen, there is no way for the candle to convert the hydrocarbon molecules in the candle into energy such as heat and light. All animals, including people, are also breathing oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants, on the other hand, breathe, breathe out, breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. The candle in the jar without the plant lasted longer than the jar with the plant. This was not expected to happen. The candle in the jar with the plant was expected to last longer because the plant would be producing oxygen, but this didn't happen. There was a couple of reasons why the candle in the jar with the plant extinguished faster than the jar without the plant because the soil and the plant took up space in the jar so there was less ox oxygen in the jar to begin with. Another potential source of error is that during the experiment the lid of the jar without the plant may have may have been tightened so properly so there might have been a more oxygen added to the jar making it last longer than the jar with the plant. As you can see humans need plants and trees to survive because of the of their of the oxygen they release.